oh no, I forgot that tonight is soccer and that Germany is playing. So if you're going to hear cheering in the background, I'm sorry. Hi everyone and welcome back to Linda Libra Loca. It's time for my June favorites and I have some skincare, some makeup and some random bits at the end. And we'll start with skincare this time. I've got one item and that is the Ole Henriksen Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil with active vitamins C and A and Omega 3, 6 and 9. I got this as part of uh, um, Ole Hendrickson trial set and I have loved everything I have tried so far from this brand. And what I really like is that this oil contains vitamin C, which is great for collagen protection. And this oil contains vitamin A as retinoic acid, which is a natural form of retinol. And this form of vitamin A is perfectly safe to use throughout pregnancy. If you ask me, the other form of vitamin A topically is safe as well, but there's no research proven and of course, better safe than sorry, I did not use it in throughout pregnancy as well. And I really like the combination of vitamin A to help with hyperpigmentation, to help with cell turnover and vitamin C to help with collagen protection. Moving on to makeup. A summertime favorite is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Oil Free. This one is in the shade Nude and I actually got that one in winter, but it was after a three week holiday in Australia. This shade is quite tan, way too tan for me at the moment, even though I use self tanner. I guess I wasn't as safe in the sun in Australia as I thought I would. It has been sitting in my drawer for quite some time. I like the coverage, I'm actually wearing it today and even though it's claimed a tinted moisturizer, the coverage is medium. It's by no way a sheer coverage, it's quite hydrating, it's natural in finish, I just powdered my t-zone today. It's not enough to cover up my zits, I need some extra concealer, but perfect as a light base throughout summer months and um, it had been sitting in my drawer because it was too dark but with the help of my next favorite the the body shop shade adjusting drops in lightening I was able to get some use of this and some other foundations that were way off these shade adjusting drops are perfect if you are quite fair or you're quite neutral toned because they are slightly pinkish and well off off white just they look a little like tip -ex. and you just use a drop or two and um, mix them in with your foundation and i don't find them to change the coverage or the consistency of my foundation or the finish they just make things a little more pink and a little lighter the lightening effect is very subtle um so one or two drops would just get maybe a quarter shade lighter but that's most of the time all it needs at least for me another makeup favorite i'm wearing right now is a rediscovery it's the mac cream sheen glass in star quality and you're probably not able to tell from camera but there's only so much left i used to love it when i got it then i chuck it in the drawer and for got about it and I pulled it out as part of the season's makeup challenge and I've been wearing it a lot. I just think it's a perfect pick-me-up for my complexion and I'm positive that I'm going to finish it this summer. It stays put but it's not the most long-lasting and incidentally matching my nails almost the same color when applied and this is the nail polish I've been wearing pretty much throughout the last month and it's Essie's watermelon. Now I'm a big fan of watermelon the fruit so I had to get it when um, this launched. It was two years ago and I rarely wear it in the winter time but come summer it's on my nails all the time. It's perfect for fingers and for toes but I'm not going to show you my toes because that would be awkward. Like most Essie nail polishes, this one lasts up to seven days without major chipping on me and is opaque in two coats. You could get away with one, but I prefer two. Moving on to my random or so-called lifestyle favorites. One thing you may be missing in my background there is this candle. 
and it says on one side you are my sunshine and on the other side you're an inspiration. White, black and gold and it's orange blossom, the smell, and it's very subtle. I can burn it and it just leaves a hint in our flat and I really love to have it burning in the background. It's perfect for summer time. My YouTube favorite of the month may come as a surprise. It's a fashion channel and if you know me, you know I'm absolutely not into fashion. I just, I have no clue. I, I managed to get dressed uh, but that's about it. And the channel I'm talking about is called Shop Style Conquer. So why do I watch two sisters from New Zealand talking mainly about fashion? Well, two reasons or three. First, they are just they just seem nice. They like video games, they are awkward and funny in front of the camera. They're really relatable and I love watching them. They're just good vibes. Second, their editing is absolutely on point. I get a lot of inspiration from what I'm planning to do with my channel and their vlogs or just their to go back watch their heels collection. I'll link the heels collection up there. It's amazing. It's really just the editing is on point. It's great to watch. And the third, they do vlogs and they do hikes sometimes. And I have never ever been to a place that is prettier than New Zealand. And it brings back so many memories when I see them hike somewhere and say, oh yes, I've been there. Oh, I want to go back so desperately. So I live through them. My favorite show or the show I've been watching over the last month and just finished is the show Outlander. And it's a Netflix original. If you don't know, Outlander is based on a series of novels of Diana Gebelden. And she describes a woman just after the Second World War who time travels back um, to the Scottish Highlands, um, to the Jacobites' time. And well, it's a really saucy, is that the word? Racy. Um, series of books. I've been reading them years ago and of course it's romantic and um, well just to give you a feel for the books Diana Gabellan's husband was asked once, he's the one who proofreads her books before they go to her um, lecture and he was asked if he still enjoyed it and he said well if I have to read the word nipples one more time, I think I'm going to puke. And yeah, well, that gives you a feeling for the books and uh, they have translated that one pretty good into the series. So don't watch it when your children are around. Maybe just even don't watch it when your husband is around or do watch it when your husband is around. That depends on your marriage. Um, I think I'm going to cut that out. Long story short, if you want to travel back in time and lose yourself in the arms of a muscular, redhead Scottish guy, fight with him against injustice and the hardship, that's the series for you. That pretty much sums up my month of June. Lots of TV shows, candles and some makeup. Please tell me in the comments below what you've been loving throughout the last month, if you have tried anything I have mentioned, and I'll see you all soon with another video. Bye! You would... Obviously you need... Long story short... Thank <laughs> you.